Okay. So today we're going to learn about open pipe resonators. Okay. And it's just uh, just like standing waves, except it's in a tube. And the tube has two openings: one at the end, one at the beginning, and one at the end, as you can see. Okay. And so the standing, so the waves are just going to be inside as it goes as it flows through. Okay. And so what you need to know about the fundamental first harmonic is that the length equals one half a wavelength. And that just means that just that just means that the wave inside the tube is going to be a half a wave. So it'll look like this. Your antinodes will be right here and right here, and you'll connect them inside the tube. One wave going this way, one wave going that way, and that creates a half a wave because it was going if it went down and up and down like this, and it continued like that, and that'd be a full wave. Okay, and you're going to see a full wave in the second harmonic because you're just going to increase by a half a wavelength. So, sorry. so length equals one full wavelength for the second harmonic. So the antinodes are going to be there are three antinodes: one right here, one right here, and one right here. And we know antinodes just means that there's no movement at these three dots as the wave flows through. So it'll be this way, and this way, and this way. And you're going to repeat this, this, that on the other side, this way, and this way, and this way. And that's a full wave, So it, because it goes up and down and up, and then up and down and up. And then it's going to increase again by one half wavelength for the third harmonic. And so it'll, it'll be length of the two will equal 1.5 wavelength. And that just means that the same thing, it just means that it's 1.5 of the wave. So you're going to have your antinodes, and you have four of them this time. You have one right here, right here, right here, and right here. And so we're just going to connect them. So it'll be right here, right here, right here, right here, and this way, and this way, and this way. And you've got one and a half. Wavelength, as we said, okay. And you also need to like it. Also, a really cool tip is that if it's first harmonic, then it'll just have one of these. Have, it'll have one little bubble. I like to call them bubbles. And then if it's second harmonic, it'll have two. And if it's third, it'll have, it'll have three. And continuing on and on and on. And because and we also need to know for later on when you close pipe system. Fair ahead to that, the front <laughs> office. Fair ahead to the front office. Sorry. Um, that they increase by one harmonic. Like in a closed pipe system, what well, you'll see, they increase by odds. So it skips the second and the fourth and the sixth and so on and so on. Okay? And then we need to learn how to, how to get the frequency for this. It's, it's not the same as the, the, a closed pipe resonator. Okay? And so you're going you're gonna to end up getting this frequency equation. So it's going to be F equals A, which is the antinode, times B over 2L. Okay, we're gonna break down, break down how we got that. Okay, so the frequency equals that because antinodes times uh, uh, times velocity divided by two L equals that. Okay, so now we're gonna do a sample problem. Okay, and so we're just gonna get rid of what you're gonna do over here. Okay, and so it'll be let's we'll get rid of this. Mental. Okay, and so we're gonna do a simple one. And you got open pipe. Open open. Okay, just like this. Right? And we're gonna say that this equals one meter. Okay, that's that's pretty easy, one meter. And we're gonna say that it's in the fundamental. Harmonic. Now we just learned that the fundamental harmonic is a half a wavelength, which just means that the wavelength right here, then you have two antinodes right here, and we connect them. Now you your first harmonic. And the two is one meter. Okay? So if they ask us how we find the frequency, we can just plug it in to the formula. Okay? You have F, F equals 
the number of antinodes, which is 2, and then the velocity. Now, the velocity is directly proportionate with the temperature. So, so, um, blue marker. You can't see that shit. Okay. I didn't do it. Just, no. Okay, so we're going to put the frequency equals number of antinodes, which you know is 2, and the velocity. Now, we know the velocity is directly proportional to the temperature. And so we're just going to say for now that it's 20 degrees, which is just room temperature, which means that it's 343 meters per second. And then we're going to divide that by 2 times the length. And we know the length is 1 meter. The length of the wave is just 1 meter, because it's, it's the 2 is 1 meter. So you just do that by 2, right? And so I'll give you a second to see if you can get that. And what you get is... You get 686 divided by 2, which equals 343 hertz. Make sure you always put your measurements on there, okay? Um, and that's just a practice one. So, if you, so if you, and, that, and that is directly proportionate with the second and the third. So all you have to change would be the, well, when is it the number of antinodes. Because in this one, you have to change that to 3. And this one you have to change that to a four. And, and it, that's why, it, that's how it's proportioned. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, thank you. Um, bye.